For the next two days, the Kenyan flag will fly at half-mast countrywide in honor of the unbowed environment icon, Professor Wangari Mathai, following a declaration by the head of state that the country will mourn her for the next two days. The government has also nominated representatives to be incorporated into the family's funeral committee that is still privately consulting over how they will bury her according to her wishes, including the exact date and location. We must have a plan of succession to her actions and activities that resulted in uh, the award of the Nobel Prize as well as other awards that she has received. Meanwhile, top government leaders continue to condole with relatives, friends and colleagues of the late professor at the Greenbelt offices in Nairobi. She will be accorded all the respect that a national hero deserves. Um, so we mourn Wangari, but she will continue to live if we all those who are with her in this struggle continue with the struggle until the ultimate victory. And at the Freedom Corner in Nairobi Zuhuru Park, well wishes also continued to stream in at the condolence tent, patched in a park that carries with it too much history. Uhuru Park, this peaceful stretch of land on the edge of Nairobi and whose name means freedom. And Kenyans owe its existence to the spirited fight that she'd put up, taking on senior government officials in former President Moi's government. As Mze James Karanja, who was present at the time, would tell us, Madai saved the park from planned development, the construction of a 60-story building more than 20 years ago. <laughs> Twenty-two years later, this park is a haven for many, one which at times is filled with the sound of children playing, occasional afternoon preachers, and also offers a shelter for anyone wishing to take an afternoon nap under the trees. Much has been written about her, and she's received many awards, but it is such a mark, a peace and tranquility that covers this park that epitomizes the fight of a woman, a woman that the world still continues to celebrate. Sheila Sendeo, Citizen TV at the Uhuru Park Gardens.